<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Dan D. Federichus of Saratoga Report. And I'm here with somebody new to Saratoga Report, John Dooley. Uh, he's an area resident, and he has a child that goes to Saratoga Central Catholic School. And we're here to talk about that because Saratoga Central Catholic um, uh, has an open house coming up on March 13th. Uh, this is sponsored content. John, how are you this uh, cold, uh, very cold morning? Didn't see this one coming, did you? <laughs> no, we didn't. Good morning, Dan. Thanks for having me this morning. Absolutely. And let me jump right into it. Uh, with this open house coming up on March 13th at, at Saratoga Central Catholic School, um, you, you have a child going there. You, you're knowledgeable from your parents' perspective. If somebody asked you, somebody bumped in you on, on Broadway downtown and said, you know, why, why would I consider sending my middle schooler or high schooler to Saratoga Central Catholic? What, what would you tell that person? Thanks, Dan. It's such an important decision for all parents, of course. And uh, my initial thought, I, I went to only public school growing up. And my thought was that public school, and this is what I would tell them, is um, you know, public school, in my, my perspective, was offering more opportunities. They're larger. They have more opportunities in sports, social media, and scholastically as well. And I, uh, my wife and I, when we moved up here in 2015, we decided to send her to to uh, Saratoga Central Catholic School, and I couldn't be we couldn't be more happy. What we found is that this, although it's a small school, it has all of that and more. So we've been very pleased. All of the options uh, uh, that the the clubs and so forth you're referring to. Yes, as far as clubs, which I think are so essential for kids to to pick the right one, but also to just have another opportunity to hone their skills, their leadership skills, relationship skills, and so forth. And uh, so I believe Saratoga Central Catholic has 20 or more clubs that kids have the option to join based upon what their needs are or what their preferences are. So that's a great, a great uh, thing that uh, Saratoga Central Catholic has that I wouldn't have known otherwise if I wasn't, you know, we weren't part of this school. Yeah, and, and you and I spoke uh, off camera. Both both of us uh, uh, came through the pu our respective public school systems, and Saratoga Springs and, and the other outlying communities have terrific public schools. And we, you know, we we acknowledge that. I, from my perspective, sending my daughters to St. Clements and then eventually to 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 you know Spot Catholic or Saratoga Central Catholic School, um, there's an extra amount of it feels like nurturing and warmth and uh, things that a smaller school and a private school uh, is able to give that the, the, the public school, um, again, there's nothing wrong with them, but it, they are very different, right? Absolutely. That, that came down to my wife and I's decision. We looked at the student to teacher ratio and we were very pleased to see that Saratoga Central Catholic School has a nine to one student to teacher ratio and the local public schools aren't that bad, but it's still 12 or 13 to one currently. So that was one reason why we definitely chose to have Shannon attend in sixth grade at uh, Saratoga Central Catholic School. And what that has shown, uh, what we were hoping was this, um, you mentioned nurturing environment. Absolutely. It, 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 the Saratoga Central Catholic School, since day one, has had that welcoming family feel and that we still feel today. And she's now, what, it's been five years. She's a junior now, doing extremely well. And uh, we've seen every year the close relationship she has, not only with her fellow students, but also with her teachers and principal, which is fantastic. Again, furthering that that development, interacting with her teachers on a, on a daily basis that I'm not sure if you get as much of that if she had gone to a much larger school. Okay, great. And uh, let's transition a little bit into the sports programs there. You have some familiarity with the current sports, sports programs, correct? Yes. And uh, as I become more uh, you know, comfortable, I, I, I've, I've become friends with a lot of the teachers and a lot of the coaches. And it, it, the, their sports program is very impressive. Again, I would have not thought that a small school like Saratoga Central Catholic School would have had the history of sports lasting decades 
uh, and at, at this small school. Uh, just a few, when you go to the open house, and please do, you have to just get a feel for this great school. Right at the entrance, there's there are large um, trophy cases that you can just quickly see the long history covering decades of sports at the school. Shannon has has enjoyed varsity vol volleyball for the last few years, and again, uh, just that that uh, experience developing her her leadership abilities and the interactions that you have playing the sport is available for any student at Saratoga Central Catholic. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've, I've paid attention from a distance of the sports program there, and it's tough for a smaller school to be competitive, but uh, Saratoga Central Catholic has not only been competitive, they've excelled. They've, as you mentioned, the trophy case, they've won championships 30 years ago, and they're winning championships uh, today. That's pretty impressive. It certainly is. And that's another part of, I think, the learning, the growth that the kids at Saratoga Central Catholic have the opportunity to have because they, uh, the, the, the sports, uh, you, you go to the games and the other team has a backup, 10 backup players, and then another set of 10 backup players. Saratoga Central just has enough to fill the court up many times with a couple um, uh, you know, backups that are needed if um, just a, a child needs uh, a break. And uh, so that's what they have. So that endurance is definitely uh, learned at, at Saratoga Central Catholic School, but it's not a negative at all. Uh, again, Shannon's enjoyed uh, volleyball at the varsity level for longer than she probably would have had if she had gone to a much larger school. And right. um, again, their history just recently They've added some in, in very in, uh, uh, great coaches that have an incredible background themselves. So the program, the sports program at Saratoga Central Catholic School has just only been enhanced recently uh, to what it's had in its previous successes. Uh, it's really been a, a strong point at the school, which was, again, unex un unexpected when we first joined. Oh, that's great. And one thing I like about the Saratoga Central Catholic is uh, a number of the staff members are, are alumni of the school, uh, including Principal C C Chris Sig Signor, uh, who's a class of 84, which is uh, my class, diff different school out in Buffalo, but we're, we're you know roughly the same age, same same class. And I, I think that's important that it has that continuity uh, over the years. Absolutely. I've had many conversations with Chris and he recounts um, where the school was decades ago when he was there as a student <clears throat> and then as a, as a, a prior principal and he, he's come back. So That's right. It, uh, so that, that history is really amazing to your point and as well as uh, the other teachers and some of the teachers uh, were uh, classmates themselves growing up at, you know, at that school. Right, uh, right. Uh, actually, two of the coaches, and uh, so that's been a nice experience to just to talk with them, and and uh, that history is is very um, is very real, and you really feel that again that 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 warm sense of family when you enter the school. Excellent, uh, John. Before we sign off, is, is there any last uh, again, folks? The open house at Saratoga Central Catholic School, March thirteenth at five thirty to seven thirty. I'm going to flash the uh, URL here. In case you cannot make it that night or have additional questions or something, all the contact information, saratogacatholic.org, uh, you could find it there. Any last thoughts, John, before we sign off? I just want to say thank you, Dan. The, you know, if, if uh, Shannon would have gone to a public school, to your point earlier, she would have been fine. We have friends who uh, send their kids to the local public schools. But again, uh, I really want to emphasize the, uh, the, the ratio, the student to uh, teacher ratio, the opportunities that brings, as well as the, as I mentioned earlier, the clubs that the kids have the opportunity to join and the sports program. There's just so many things that uh, this small school does offer. So please, anyone listening to this, please give it a shot. Go to the open house and see for yourself. Excellent, John. Thanks for joining us. March 13th, 530 to 730. Thanks, folks, for watching. And thank you again, John. Thank you, Dan.